overview of automation objects. To overview the automation objects, you select them here to add them to the job. Automation objects run within the same job list as marking objects do. And so they can simply be moved around within the job list. There are a number of different automation objects available. Wait for external signal will cause this job to stop executing at this object until an external signal is satisfied. Set IO port will set an external IO output when this object executes. Insert time delay will cause a time delay to be executed when this object is executed. Show message box allows you to show, during the execution of this job, a message box. For example, if you want to mark a circle and show the message on the screen, and then you want to mark a rectangle, this message box would say, rotate part, or some other message that the operator would use to tell them what to do during the job. You can also program XY motion, rotary motion, and linear motion. You need the supporting hardware to be able to use these automation objects. They can be added to the job, but then you would have to be configured based on the hardware you have. Serial communication allows communication through an RS-232 port by sending script files or single strings for control of serial devices. The Run Application object allows you to start an external program within the context of running this list in Winlays. And that external program could do really anything that you want. It could talk to a vision camera, for example. The Alignment tool allows an alignment to take place on all marking objects that happen after the Alignment tool runs. So, if you put an Alignment Tool object here, you can enter transforms that will be applied to objects after the Alignment Tool objects in the list. You would then use that in conjunction with the Run Application Automation object to do vision correction. When this program runs, it writes an alignment file to disk. This Alignment Tool then modifies these two objects. And you can also have direct control over the laser within the list without having to move the beam.